What's up guys? Uh, this is gonna be a quick video, uh, just an update of what I'm using right now um, as my editing machine. So uh, my last video, I know you guys saw that I was using an iPad Air uh, 2020. Uh, I just returned it and I ended up getting the M1 Mac Mini. Uh, so this is it, M1 Mac Mini. Uh, base storage, so I think it's eight gigs of RAM, uh, 256 of SSD. Uh, so far it's been decent. Um, and um, I set it up with a Samsung 27-inch uh, uh, T55 series. It's a widescreen curved display. Uh, it's pretty clean, man. This is I love this display so far. Um, the, the, the thing that surprised me about this screen is that it has built-in speakers. And normally displays that have built-in speakers sound terrible. Man, this thing is super loud uh, for built-in speakers. And I was shocked. Uh, by the sound of this display. Uh, for my keyboard and mouse, I'm using a older uh, Magic keyboard, uh, straight from Apple. It's one of the older ones, it's not a newer one. Uh, the one that still takes batteries. And I got a Logi, Logitech uh, mouse, the Logitech Pebble. Uh, so far for a decent mouse, uh, I didn't have a mouse or a keyboard. Uh, I got this one off someone, it's an older something uh, keyboard that they had they did, that they weren't using. Um, so I grabbed that off someone and I bought this on Amazon just to have for now. I'm curious to see what you guys uh, suggest as a keyboard and mouse uh, setup for a Mac mini. Uh, I know a lot of people are using like uh, compact uh, mechanical Bluetooth keyboards. Uh, I'm kind of looking towards that, like a small keyboard around this size, mechanical, um, that's Bluetooth and wired. Uh, and it'd be preferably uh, to be charged with type C, that'd be awesome. Um, and I'm gonna replace this mouse. Uh, a lot of people are recommending the Logitech. I think it's the Logitech M, M series. I know a lot of people are using it, like professional editors, photographers, stuff like that. That's their mouse of choice. I don't know if that's the route I'm gonna go, but just wondering what you guys suggest, what you guys are using with your setup. Uh, and that's it, I got a basic desk off Ikea. Like a $40 desk, nothing crazy. Uh, but I wanted to keep it pretty much nice and simple, nice and clean, not too much on here. Uh, I have computer speakers that I was going to put, but like I said, the sound from the monitor surprised me. So I'm going to leave it like that for a little bit. Um, it has a little bit of cable management in the back. I have to fix it. Like I said, I just put it on now. I just set everything up. Um, and this is what I'm going to be using for a little bit. Uh, but it's super clean, man. This display is nice. I got this off of Best Buy. I think it was 250. Um, I know you can get cheaper displays for, you know, maybe something compared to it a little bit cheaper, but I like the design of this. I like the fact that it's a Samsung display. Uh, they know when you make amazing displays and it's curved, which is nice. My first curved display. I like it. Like I said, this is the Samsung T55 series, if I'm not mistaken. I got it off Best Buy for 250 um, and it was pretty, pretty highly rated on their website. Um, it's not super high refresh rate or anything like that, uh, but it is higher than 60 Hertz. It goes up to, I do believe 90 or something like that. Um, it's pretty good. Like I said, it's a uh, free sync display. So I guess that will not, not hundred percent sure on what that means, but I know it, it's like a variable refresh rate if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but it's one of those free sync displays. Um, like I said, super nice, super slim, <clears throat> and it looks nice on the desk. You know, nice, simple, nice stand, not huge borders. And for this Mac mini setup, I like it so far. I'm gonna keep that display. I'm just looking to swap out the keyboard and mouse uh, for some, something preferably dark. I'm trying to keep it nice and minimal, so probably black. Um, and the mouse as well. So if you guys can throw me some suggestions out there, none too crazy, none too expensive, but something you probably used in the past that's pretty nice. Uh, like I said, I'm going towards a mechanical small keyboard like this. I don't need a number pad on the side or anything like that. And that mouse probably with the Logitech M series, but I'm still debating on that. Um, let me show you guys how these speakers sound though, man. This is like, a pff, look how fast this opens, bro. I'll close it. Safari, quit, and then open it back up. 
Look at that. This M1 chip that Apple made is ridiculous. I mean, things just pop open like nothing. Look at that. Faster than an Intel series in my experience. Um, I know the Mac Mini Intel's base models were super slow, kind of. Um, but these M1 series Macs are super nice. Super fast, and I'm excited to see what Apple's gonna implement in the future software-wise. Um, there's a lot of apps that are not optimized yet for this, uh, but it still runs super nice. So we'll see how it goes in the future. But let me um, play something on YouTube. And this, I'm not, I'm, run, I'm not running this uh, Ethernet, you know, plugged in or not. This is completely off of Wi-Fi, and uh, this is Wi-Fi six compatible. I don't have a Wi-Fi six router. Uh, but the, the the speed on this is super quick. Um, let me see. Not copyright music. And let me put. This is gonna Looking be for real to free just music. an example. Check out Epidemic Sound. Discover over thirty thousand tracks. So this is all the monitor itself, and I'll show you. This is not even at high volume. So if I go down here. That's at 30%. So that's at 30% volume. This thing is super loud. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of bass, but enough for it, you know, for me uh, not to have external speakers. Eventually I will get them, but for right now, this is perfect. So it has a little toggle and then you can raise it. at 40 percent so man i'm telling you super nice let's see let's try this one do the sound on that thing man and like i said it's not even all the way up at 40%. So, super happy with the speakers on this. Um, like I said, I was blown away. I didn't know it had internal speakers until I set it up. Um, and I found out it did. And I was like, ah, let me try it out. Because normally internal speakers are crappy. But super blown away by these speakers. Again, this is the Samsung Curve Display T55 series. Uh, if you guys are interested... I uh, got it off Best Buy for $250. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm not going to keep it too long. Uh, I would appreciate if you guys had any suggestions for M1 Mac Mini. This is my first M1 device. Any apps, any cool games, any cool applications I should try out, um, let me know. And again, any combo keyboard and mouse you guys suggest. Something that looks pretty minimal, black, mechanical keyboard, nice mouse. That's not too expensive. Uh, you guys can put it in the comments and I'll take a look at it. Uh, and I'll shout out, you know, if someone puts something up and I, and I end up getting it, I'll shout them out. Um, but like I said, this is my this, this is my setup for now. Uh, I went from an iPad Air editing my videos to M1 Mac Mini. Uh, of course, I'm going to be using the uh, iMovie. And iMovie on this looks super dope. Let's see where you at, where you at. And it, open up, it opens up fairly quick for... Uh, really large application and it looks so on a white screen man this thing this screen is super nice um but like i said this is going to be my machine from now on let me guys let you let me know in the com in the comments below what you guys think uh any suggestions any questions any comments concerns or like i said applications you guys are interested in or you guys used in the past that's pretty nice on the m1 uh device uh let me know and i'll check it out other than that, you guys stay safe. God bless. Peace.